What's up guys, it's Dragon. This is a pretty interesting box. This is uh, from Justin. Justin emailed me a while ago and I believe the contents of this box are vaguely academic in nature, but I don't know that. I think this is like a project that he's been working on for some time. I don't know if he has any intention of making it commercial or what have you, but I'm hoping that this reflects some of the photos that he sent me. And it does. So this is, this is really cool and just kind of shows how far the hobby has come. There is a note up on top, but in an effort to not disclose Justin's address, I have uh, opened it a different way. So this is a completely custom magazine and a completely custom blaster. The blaster itself is ultra compact and says on the side, Lazinski Designs, which uh, we can only assume is Justin's surname. So nice snappy. Ooh. All right, this is very exciting. Um, is that a solenoid? All right, guys, so this is a very heartfelt note from Justin just saying that I'm apparently responsible for tormenting his parents with Home Depot trips to go get PVC for various blasters back in the day, and that now he has a real passion for the creative, which is clear. So he's been watching my content for a long time, which means that he knows a lot about our world, and subsequently 3D printed blasters. However, uh, this is a completely original design. So it's clamshell, two halves. It's got switches here and here. I don't know what the pusher is quite yet. It takes a 2S LiPo, which I believe uh, is stored, yep, down in here. And this is so clever. These are just integrated magnets. that just sits on like that, comes off like that. Very clean, very cute. And then there's an XT60 recessed up in there, and I'm assuming it'll fit a Graphene 950, which is pretty standard. Mag release is pretty simple here. Uh, trigger and rev switch, like I said, are clicky. So Justin tells us that this blaster has 3D printed flywheels, which is normally not the best solution, but that his design necessitated it. And the reason is this is a double stacked magazine, except they're stacked parallel instead of alternating like real steel. And as such, it has a huge pusher down in there along with dual flywheels. There's a voltmeter integrated into the back. This is pretty clean and easy. It's how we used to do it with a uh, strifes and what have you. And I'm just uh, pretty excited. He says that he has one issue with the magazine where basically only half of its effective length is functional. I can see that there are two extension springs in here and it might just be that that much dart and that much friction in a printed magazine just won't work for the entire length. So this magazine apparently holds 32 darts, which is pretty crazy between half lengths and uh, this wild idea that this is the rough equivalent of storage size to like say a Raider drum. As far as how it fits into the blaster, it's clean, it's easy, the release is very snappy. Like for a first blaster design, this is unbelievably refined, but we need to know if it does, if it does the thing, if it do the do. Does it shoot four at once, two next to one another, and oh my goodness, it's a flywheel shotgun. All right, so we busted out some batteries, we busted out some darts, we busted out the blaster, we've got it powered up. You guys should be able to see. It's uh, not full charge, but I'm not super concerned. Loading this magazine, pretty tricky. Now, Justin told me that I could load it up at least halfway. This is, I'm hiring a dart squire if anybody's interested in the position, because this is a tough magazine to load. So that's what it's gonna look like when loaded. I wanna get uh, at least, because it is full auto. It's a full auto shotgun pistol. Um, wild combination of words. Uh, but I wanna at least load it twice in the hopes that we can see that full effect. So I've loaded a round of AF pros. I'm loading now some uh, bamboo darts. I'm really just trying to, no, nope, they're trying to fall out. All right, so the AF pro darts are too, too long, it would appear. Okay, so the AF pro darts were too, too thick. They were thick boys and they were not going to, uh, Oh man, if you just hold them in a quad and load them that way, that's so much easier. All right, I've got them functionally moving now. This is gonna be great. Now I'm gonna learn how to do this. Crap. All right, so you take the shotgun blast like this, then you take your magazine and you push everything down and then load the shotgun blast as a, oh no. Oh no. All right, so cool thing about this magazine is that since it's exclusively for a flywheel blaster, it's got this kind of unibody uh, design. Unfortunate thing about it is that it's printed very, very thin, obviously to minimize the blaster shell. And so it's cracked here. I don't know if that was in shipment or beforehand. And they're kind of pushing up into it. It's a little dangerous, but we have theoretically two full. Oh man, when it's full, because now it's not hollow inside, right? When it's full, it makes this great noise. Are you guys ready for some Nerf Asmar? 
it goes like thwunk. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna fire off two shotgun blasts, and this is this is pretty cool. Rev switch is a little tiny. It's like it's low key confettiing when it fires, but like this is a great little concept. I like this a lot. I'm better at loading it now, so I can do that. Really get the juice. I'm just gonna estimate ranges for you because we're never gonna get an accurate FPS reading on this. He's using fang revamps, and like I said, I've got a graphene 2s uh, just chilling in there. Ranges on this are gonna be about 30 feet. It's a good spread down the hallway, but I can see him trailing off. And honestly, the most impressive thing about it is that if a horde of zombies was rushing you and you thwunk, thwunk, thwunk these out there, uh, with a spread of about six to eight feet, it's almost like as they come off of these dual flywheels, they throw outwards. Because you don't hit anything directly in front of you, but it goes foom. It's pretty cool. It's like legitimately really cool. It's a great little novel design. I... Don't know why nobody's thought of doing something this crazy before. It's unfortunate that I'm making this video on my channel because in two years Hasbro is going to make a significantly worse version of it, I'm sure. But I think that it's very novel. And just to, to kind of finish the video up, uh, Justin says that it should be relatively easy to show you guys the internals. So we're going to break that down. I wish we had more. Oh no, this is cracked too. Justin. Oh. I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to, to thicken this guy up. I don't know what printer you're using or what infill. Um, he says that all I have to do is pop the cap off, slide a knife in and kind of pry the shell apart. If at first you don't succeed, pry, pry again. I don't know which side holds the internals. That's the tough part. Is it traditional design? It appears there are no rules. He's holding it together with 3D printed pins, it looks like. This is remarkable how sturdy this was for, okay, there we go. So these are the pins that hold the blaster together. Very cool. And then this is a look at the guts. A little bit of hot glue, a little bit of XT60. That explains why the switches are so clicky. This is actually a gear style pusher of an interesting design up here. So it was not a solenoid, it just kind of slowly through there. The mag release is super simple, the fang revamps are in here, and you get a really good look at the super funky dual flywheel cage. As well as where he's put all of these channel leads so that the motors are powered over, through, and down. Honestly, this is great design. I'm really excited to see Justin's next idea. I'd love to see his take on a traditional, just sort of layout for a blaster, because I'm sure it would be very clean very cool. I feel less bad about breaking this. It looks like it was broken before and it's been hot glued back into place. All the same, very cool blaster design. Thank you so much to Justin for sharing it. He's working on an Etsy where he'll be distributing the files and I'll be sure to put that in the description box below. So to finish this video up, this is another box. <laughs> it's got out of darts tape on it. He's got to tell me where I can get custom tape for my business. I think that this is just so cool. I should really make a foam pro shop or FPS logo first. But this is a box from Luke. I'm pretty excited to take a look inside. So Luke sent over a full rig of these. When I say rig, I am of course referring to the scabbard rig, uh, but he knows how much I love, but he knows how much I love this particular kind of design choice. And so I'm hoping this is what he's, oh yeah. So Luke is a, a long time distributor of worker products and as such, they've given him the chance to start getting some exclusives in. And this is a terrific exclusive. These are custom, I guess, or exclusive to his store, outofdarts.com, red talon mags. And they are so slick. I really dig them. Uh, thanks so much for sending six over so I can fill up a whole scabbard rig with them, Luke. And he asked me to ask you guys down in the comment section below, kind of harness the power of my audience for a minute here. Uh, what color do you want to see next? I guess he's got an opportunity to make another custom color. Uh, I really am glad that he started with red. I think he's done purple, or maybe the purple is for Foam Blast. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that there's purple ones floating out there, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. He wanted to know what do you think the most desirable color is? What would you like your talents to be in next? I'm good with red, uh, but there's black, orange, gray, clear. Now there's red. I think there's a purple one. So other than those, 
Let me know what you think would be cool down in the comment section below. Again, huge shout out to Justin. Thanks for sharing your incredibly unique prototype with us. And of course, Luke, thank you for these. Very thoughtful gift. Happy holidays to you, my friend. Can't wait to work on some really cool stuff in 2021 together. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Video every day in December. Woo!